For this week's boiler tip, we're gonna talk about water column. Water has weight and weight generates pressure or force. Um, so 28 inches of water column generates one pound of pressure. Um, and we got an illustration right here on this gauge. Um, we've got zero PSI on our system, but this gauge has three pounds of pressure on it. So how is that possible? Well, this valve is closed and with a vertical height, we've got about three pounds of back pressure. I can verify that by opening that gauge and as that line drains, we'll see that pressure back down to zero, essentially. Now, why might that math not work in the field? Um, if a system's hot, and in this case, I've got a trap pushing into a line. Um, you don't always have just the water column in play. If that line goes up and goes to a pressurized tank like a deaerator, we're going to have whatever pressure's on the deaerator, five pounds, six pounds, seven pounds, in addition to the weight of the water because it's additive. You're gonna have the height of the water plus whatever pressure's above it. So on a trap, when this trap discharges, some of that water flashes to steam. And ultimately, because of the diameter of the pipe, we're going to have some pressure generated by flash steam. So when we talk about inches of water column as a height, really that's the minimum pressure we're going to see, not the maximum. We could have it going to a vented tank. We could have it go to a pressurized condensate return line. There's a lot of other factors that come into play.